What's up guys, back in today with another reaction to Made in Abyss, this time of episode 3. Very much looking forward to today's episode. After the last episode we got a fleshing out of a lot of the characters, uh, Rico and her mum included. Uh, some very interesting points about there being heaven potentially under the abyss. Um, both Rico's mum and the, uh, the kind of time pointy <laughs> thing at the start of the episode uh, kind of indicated that down there was not um, hell or anything, which I thought might have been down under the abyss so of course it makes a bit of sense but um it actually seems like it might be earth and rico's mum might actually be alive living down there so uh, some very intriguing kind of mysteries going on in the show so far but really love how last episode uh, took a bit of a slower pace in the first episode and fleshed out a few of the characters um and kind of their uh, quirks and such like Rika having glasses for example um, but I'm hoping we can get back to the adventure in today's episode make sure you let me know what you guys think of this one though down in the comment section leave a like on the video if you guys did like the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with these reactions though let's get right to the third episode guys three two one let's go oh they actually took that home I guess that makes sense. You gotta cry. <laughs> ah, so we are going to go on an adventure down to the uh, abyss. Is that actually her writing? Do you reckon? That's what I'm quite interested in. Now that they've taken that, they can't actually get a good opinion on it, right? But I imagine that actually, uh, that was, I imagine they probably checked it before, probably. Or they told Rico. Should she still be taking that? Probably not. <laughs> I wonder what the other people would have thought about that. Ah, what was on that squirrel's back? And there certainly is some interesting scenery in here, isn't there? Ah, another new character I didn't notice before. Looks like there's this um, a knight-looking guy with a hole down the middle of his face. But again, I, I noticed um, there's quite a lot of uh, scenes in that, isn't there? But, um, quite a lot of awesome uh, backgrounds and such, isn't there? You can you, you can probably do quite a lot with uh, with this subject matter, can't you? Iron Rain, <laughs> Emperor Shell. This is the thing that looks like reg. Interesting. Those are some of the notes on the side.
a potato. I doubt it. <laughs> Number one. I've got a feeling these might actually be creatures. Someone actually died here. <laughs> Someone died adventuring here. This seems like like level one of a uh, of any new game. Ah, <laughs> uh, per se. How the hell would you die foraging here? Oh god. I doubt Reg has a birthday. <laughs> Luckily enough. But he does, but I don't think he remembers. It's quite crazy how they do collect these relics and such without having much of an idea of what they actually are. They just sell them off. I can understand that, but I, c I can also understand how everyone living like this would want to go as far as they can down to this abyss. It's the most interesting thing going on in this place, is it not? Good effort, Rico. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, I think the key's down there. Oh god, did that curse come back to get him? Oh, the actual curse of the abyss. Wow, you really can't even handle this? Oh, this guy really is not going to make it all the way down, is he? Oh, well, it's definitely not just a robot, is he? It could be. It could very well be. But I've got a feeling he's a living creature. Again, maybe a species from right near the bottom of the abyss, maybe.
So she was going to try. <laughs> Ah. Uh. We get that snow off. <laughs> That is a big hole, isn't it? Might be being a bit optimistic there. And this is just what they know. We've seen that top bit in the ending, haven't we? <clears throat> Forest of Temptation. Wow, <laughs> that's not good. And they put that down as a suicide. <laughs> oh, makes sense. The inverted forest. Oh god. Maybe that's just where the end goal is. Pretty cool. Now you've done it. I mean, she could very well be. But I have a feeling she might not be. Maybe this is a crazy theory. <laughs> Maybe they get reborn into these creatures that we see. Reg. And that girl we see in the opening, that furry. Um, half animal, half human type. Maybe they get changed into a different being or something. Reincarnated, maybe. Born again. Or maybe they just live there in peace. Or maybe they are dead. And there's plenty of... Uh, plenty of... Theories. I can't believe we're actually going. This is dangerous. I mean, not not for Reg, but is uh, is Rico going to be able to survive all this? T 
seen that the curse of the um the curse of the abyss had a big effect on that kid already so imagine if they go one two three four steps further down madness Possible though, as we uh, as we heard, white whistles have made it pretty much all the way down. Oh no! <laughs> Let's hope he doesn't look into a mirror. <laughs> It'll be one of the last times we see this kid, I imagine. <laughs> does she? I guess that's not past her. Not really past anyone, is it? But um, quite surprised he believes that. Where is um where is he then? Matt. Don't tell me he's gonna end up coming. I thought maybe he might have gone to uh, squeal on them to try and stop them going, but no. He knows it's just by the smell. <laughs> Why is he wearing that? So he's not going to be coming. Good, because I thought, I think maybe he might die. <laughs> Yeah, I think he's just helping out because he's friends with you. But, um, I kind of feel scared for all these kids, except for Reg, to be honest. I was going to say earlier as well, we saw that balloon thing come up, didn't we? I was, I was wondering about the legitimacy of that. <laughs> Surely some animal or something might get in the way of that going upwards. Yeah, 
not hanging on the edge. A lot of people actually live here. Look like ghosts. That's awesome. Hopefully, and hopefully he doesn't die. <laughs> Here they are. Ooh. Ominous, isn't it? A whistle. Huh. What's going on by now? So he's not going to be coming with us again, luckily. It would die ASAP. What has Red just found though? <laughs> Waking up the residents. What is that, Reg? Some kind of red card. All right, so the glasses guy is not going as well. Thank God. Again, I was kind of wondering if this dark turn would be both these kids dying, <laughs> which would make a lot of sense. But now we've just got to worry about Rico. Damn, there they go. I do hey. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting indeed. That is a completely new world down there, isn't it? It's like another chance of life. For some. Interesting though. Yeah, that was quite a sad farewell, wasn't it? Unfortunately. Or fortunately, again, if they did go, I think those kids would be dead. <laughs> In a matter of, probably a matter of feet. I don't think that, because we saw how, uh, how it affected that one young kid earlier, didn't we? He felt sick and could, uh, could was struggling to walk even at what seemed like would be level one of any new game you'd start playing. So, um, yeah, I think this is going to be quite a brutal trip <laughs> and maybe not so much for Reg, but uh, for Rico, I'm not really not sure how she's going to be able to cope being, um, I'm not sure if the whistle stuff actually matters all that much. I think it's just a representation of how um, 
how good you are as one of these adventurers and the accomplishments you've had up until now so it doesn't actually matter all that much but her still being this young little girl um she's had experiences with uh with the curse before hasn't she inside of her mother so uh, maybe that gives her a little bit more resistance to it uh, that could be one of the saving graces but um even so this is going to be a very very dangerous task but it looks like we have kind of left off this mainland for good now uh we might end up coming back up and seeing some of the forts of some people maybe uh next episode uh maybe the leader for example but um looks like we're now fully heading into the abyss and this is where this most of the story is going to be from here on which i'm very excited for um again so many awesome shots in the opening and so many cool looking characters um it looks like it's going to be an absolute blast just on a visual level let alone the story so uh really excited to see the story as well as as i've uh, as i've seen before this is a very highly rated show so very intrigued as to what in this abyss and such makes it such a highly rated show for a lot of people um again i i can understand a little bit with the setup so far but we haven't really seen much if anything from the abyss so far so um again very excited for this uh make sure you let me know what you guys thought about this episode though down in the comment section uh leave a like on the video if you guys did like the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with these reactions though i should be back on tuesday with episode four which um again i really look forward to seeing uh the early stages of the abyss i think uh, they did name all the kind of levels um there might be even more but i think they named like five or six and um, again the inverted forest and such sounds like it's going to be some really cool settings for the show so um yeah very much look forward to it again let me know what you guys thought about this one down in the comment section and enjoy the rest of your day guys